Hey everyone, today we're going to paint this little hedgehog and this is a photo from one of my subscribers and this hedgehog lives in her garden. Very easy drawing, it doesn't have to be exact because all hedgehogs look different, but start with his outline of his face and his nose is triangular pointing down and you can add in the eyes and then just a big oval for his body. You can add in the legs later. Then I start painting it with just a light wash and leaving the lightest areas white or a very light wash on top of the white. A little oval outline for his ear and for his triangular nose. And around the eyes it's a little bit darker. And if you make a mistake, all you have to do is wet the area and after a few seconds dab it and it will lighten the color wherever you need a highlight. Just lightly filling in the first layer of watercolor paint. The pigment is watered down with much water to make it light and filling in with browns or grays, whatever color your hedgehog is going to be. It's continuing to fill in the colors and leaving the highlighted areas lighter with a watered down pigment wash. The fine brush or the tip of a thicker watercolor brush, you will be able to indicate fur by pulling lines out. Continuing to pull these strokes to the right in the direction of the fur and very simply and easily you have the underpainting of the hedgehog's fur. So here I am laying the first layer of the grayer part of the hedgehog and I decide that it's a little bit too dark here so I'm going to wet the dark area and then I will blot it to lift the paint and here I am lifting the paint and there's a little bit more and then that will be the underpainting and that'll be the first layer underpainting before I apply the second layer and the first strokes on top. Continuing in the direction of the fur and laying down some lines in the fur direction and we are going to fill in the body of the hedgehog. Using watercolors is very forgiving and it's very easy just to fill in very light washes and layer up your picture and layering is what gives all the watercolor pictures depth. Each layer application brings the picture more and more to life and it doesn't have to be perfect, just indications of where colors are. And here I am adding in the outline of the foot of this little hedgehog and his little nose is a darker color as well. Just filling it in with another layer and here is a very dark color for the eyes, usually dark brown and dark blue. I mix together to get the darkest color that I can get without using black. And then adding some more strokes for his nose and for the shading. And anywhere where it's dark, it's just add in some more lines, one layer at a time. If you prefer your colors to be blended softly, you will add wet paint into wet paint. But if you prefer to have a more defined line, then you will let your layers dry in between and then add a, a more pigmented paint on your brush to add the lines. Always working from the lightest colors first on a picture and always adding darker shading as you go along. So just adding, if you're going to use ink, like I'm going to do, uh, your shading doesn't have to be very uh, perfect. It just has to be in an area where the pen will show up on top of the shading. Now to put in a background, I am dampening the paper around the hedgehog. And this is going to allow the paint just to blend and flow into a soft edge around the hedgehog. So dampen it all with water and then just lay down some paint in different areas, uh, different colors. And if we lay some more water on top of that and we can spread out the colors, they blend so nicely together and it gives a really easy background that looks awesome. Just continue lightly adding a little more color and water around the hedgehog and pulling it up to the fur 
the fur is going to, you'll be able to see some background through the fur strokes. So just adding more water and pulling the colors and letting them blend together. And then you can even just at the end, um, just use plain water on your brush and just dab it and tap it in certain areas. Learning to paint with watercolors will be different for everybody and everybody will learn their own technique and their own style. The best way to learn watercolor is just doing it, just practice. Paint anything, paint a fork, paint a cup, paint um, a toy, just paint a leaf and just lay down the water and lay down some paint and watch how it blends together. And the more pictures you paint, the better you will get at it. One year I painted watercolors every single day for a year. And I kept telling myself with every picture, I learned something new. And I think one out of every 10 or one out of every 20 will be a masterpiece, will be your favorite. They will all not be good pictures, but you just have to try and you just have to do it. So here I am using a waterproof pigment pen and I am just going to outline the whole thing and add texture with ink lines. And I'm indicating the fur right now. I love ink and watercolor together. I love how the ink makes the watercolor pop out and get, defines it and makes it look like the soft watercolor underneath the ink it's just something, it's just a technique that I really love. And I did learn or see this a long time ago, 20 years ago, 20 years ago at least. And I saw a book by Claudia Nice and she is an ink and watercolor artist. I think she does a lot of different mediums, but her books were mostly ink and watercolor. And I just love that style. And I've continued to use it in my artwork. Making sure that you've used a waterproof ink and not a water resistant ink. Uh, you can add darker shadows to your picture as I'm doing right here. And yeah, here is the finished picture. It only took about an hour and a half. I think it turned out really cute. And I thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video.